right, so this is a 14 foot extension and to loosen it up, I'm gonna turn it what you would call clockwise and it pulls out and then you can lock it in by turning it counterclockwise, depending on which way you're looking. So again, to loosen it, twist it this way and pull her in. I don't need it extended, so I'm just gonna tighten it down here. And we're gonna use it at this length because I'm gonna be cutting uh, trees that are not that <laughs> are not that tall. All right, so that's how you do it. Now, to get her going, there you find it. The fail safe is right here. So if you press that, you have to press this and you have to press this for it to run. If you notice, I'm not plugged in. That's why it's not running. So if you something happens and you drop it, it immediately turns off. So that is your safety mechanism. That's your your safety on this gun or this chainsaw. As you can see, you gotta press that to press that. You can't even press this without pressing this. Once this is engaged, it starts and it runs. So that's how you use it. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and cut some stuff. <laughs> so you gotta make sure you get her in there, just like that. That's ready to go. Now I could loop this, but I'm gonna leave it like that because I think that'll be fine. Now I gotta put on my goggles. You wanna wear goggles. Sometimes they fog up, but it's better than losing an eye. Again, your thumb rests on this right here. And then when I push it in and hit it, it runs. All right, let's give it a run. Okay, so anyway, I just finished, you know, cutting down all of this stuff. I just cut down like 10 trees, 10, 20 foot trees with this thing, believe it or not. It's unplugged. So what I need to do is clean this mess out, you see? So we got to get on here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go counterclockwise. Because usually it's uh, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. As you can see, it's definitely, definitely lefty-loosey here. And... Uh, we got to clean out this mess. We don't want to leave it like this. So this should just come right up and uh, bang her. And as you can see, it's just a mess in there. So I've got my little brush here. And what I'm going to do is just get all that shit out of there. Clean it up. You can, pull, you can take it and, and loosen it and get the chain on if you want to. But I think I'm just going to do this for now. Just to get it, you know, because I gotta get back to home and eat. And that's that. All right, so that's not too bad. And then bang this out. And if you want, you could, you know, get all that shit out of there. I gotta make sure I, I never fucking remember to point the camera at the right thing. So when you're when you're checking it, see if it's if it's moving good. You can use both hands. I just got to film with one. And so when you pull this out, see how these are kind of out there? But if you pull them at the same time, they shouldn't come completely out of the uh, track. It could be a little tighter. I could put it a little bit tighter, but that seems to be moving pretty good. So you want to check your chain. And so that baby looks like it's, it's on there pretty good. You can see there's a lot of oil there. So here, we got to get that back in there. I could clean it out a little bit better but what we're going to do is we're just going to set it down on there like that and then we're going to take our allen wrench get it in there and we're just going to tighten it down so to tighten it you're going to go clockwise and that's pretty much it right there to make sure it's in there good and then to tighten up this the uh, 
On this side, we can clean this off a little bit. This is a little steel brush I brought. If you want to tighten up the uh, the um, the chain, there's a little screw right in here. You see that? You need a Phillips, uh, not a Phillips head. You need a flathead screwdriver, of which I have one. And to tighten it, what you do is you go a little bit, you go a little bit clockwise, and that pulls it in a little bit tighter. So when you pull this up. They don't come out as far. Oops, don't want it in the dirt. So that'll tighten the chain on there. It still moves good though. So remember, you go clockwise to tighten it. And the tightening screw is right there, right here. See it? So again, let's go ahead and get in there. Remember to do this when it's not plugged in, okay? I don't want you killing yourself. So to tighten it, I just go like that. That tightens it. All right, I think we're gonna be good. I just gotta put some oil in it. Now, to check the oil, you look down here. Right on this side right here, you see that? You can see that we're empty in that reservoir. And to fill it up, I gotta go up here and unscrew that. But I'm gonna get a paper towel and clean this mess up first. All right, so anyway, we've gotta get some oil in there. It does not take a lot of oil. It's pretty, pretty simple. Just gonna unscrew this cap, just pull it to the side a little bit, and we're just gonna dump a little bit of oil in there. And you'll see it doesn't take much. I use this type of oil, it's called bar and chain oil, for use with all chainsaws, and that's what we're gonna put in there. Try not to get it all over the steps here, if I can. So we're just gonna do it very slowly, because we don't need a lot. And then just look down there, you can see I've already filled up almost half of it. Last time I spilled this all over the thing. And that's pretty much all we need for right now. Because we're just, you know, and you gotta check this every, every, you know, 10 or 15 minutes while you're cutting, just to make sure because you use it. it what it does is it lubricates the, uh, it lubricates the saw, or the blade, I mean, the teeth on the blade.